Linda Marie Rosenberg, and this is an incredibly honest tutorial on how to do yoga when you're a human who has breasts. Some of you might know I am actually a trained yoga instructor. I am 200 hours certified, but I dropped out of my advanced teaching. I am a yoga school dropout. I am also a human who has breasts. Yoga was not created by people who have breasts. Today we're gonna look at how that challenges what you're doing. The first thing you'll need to know is that at no point will any pose not look like pornography because your breasts will not find a bra that's correct. This pose is called up dog and it basically just looks like you're doing a strip show. One nice thing about having breasts is that anytime you're in a forward bend, you can use them as a pillow. This pose is called wind expeller pose, and when your face is forward, it'll basically just be inside your breasts. You should also know that wind expeller absolutely does refer to farting. This is the preparation for side crow. As you can see, my breasts are in the way and they will never not be in the way. Also, being able to do this pose is really just a party trick, so you don't have to do it. You should also know that every time you come back to Tadasana, you're probably going to have to adjust your bra and then you can go back to being mindful. The most consistent issue you're going to have is with twisting. I suggest actually physically moving them over to get them out of the way of the rest of your body. It feels terrible. And lastly, this is child's pose. It actually kind of feels nice, but something I would also like to point out with child's pose is that if you have any sort of nose, it's going to wind up really squished in the ground. I'm really tired now. That's how to do yoga when you have breasts, or rather all the problems you can face. I hope that was really helpful.